Welcome to the Russell Brown Show. And this episode I'm calling the Sun Rays Quick in Easy Fix. And in fact, this is more of a tip and technique than a fix because this is a great photograph of Moose and Sharon Peterson here in Monument Valley, but I want to enhance it. Now this is enhanced. I'm going to turn off my sunbeams right now. Check this out. So this is before and then after. I'm always wanting to cheat nature just a little bit and add a little bit more drama to an image like this. Okay, this is how it's done. I'm going to go to this graphic layer that I've created here earlier, right here. Now you can see this is a standard layer with transparency and I've placed in a series of graphic white bars and I've separated them, as you can see here, like this. Now I knew to separate them in this fashion because just out of experimentation I knew, I knew that I needed to leave space between them. Okay, now here's the great tip and technique. Starting with vertical bars, I can make them appear as if there are sunbeams. So I go right up here to my filters menu, and of course I'm targeting my graphic bars layer, and down here to distort, and over here to polar coordinates. Cool, never used it before. Maybe this is the time to use it. Click. Check it out. When I've set this to rectangular to polar, it then wraps it around on itself. Click OK. Fantastic. So now I've gone from bars to this really nice design. You can use this for a lot of projects. The next thing I want to do is go in and make a little bit of a bright spot right here in the middle. I'm going to click here in the center, hold down my shift key, and of course I have my ellipse tool selected. The shift key constrains that to a perfect circle. The alt or option key lets me create it from the center, and I'm just going to drop in a little selection right there. Selecting my D key on my keyboard sets me back to my default colors of four that you can see right down here in my tool panel. I just want to make sure I get white in that. And in this case, I'm going to hit the X key so I switch it so that white is my foreground color. And a great tip and technique is the Alt or the Option key and the Delete key will always fill any selection with the current foreground color, but everybody knew that. Okay, now this is cool. I want to reposition the origin of the sunbeams. Great feature in CS5. Under the Edit menu, Puppet Warp. Wow, Puppet Warp can be used for sunbeams. Check it out. I'm going to click each one of these sunbeams right here and put in a control point, a pin as it's called. Putting in the pins and then one in the center. Now, I click in the center. Oh, cool. I can start to move this around into any location. Let's put the sunbeams right there, coming up right in that spot. Then let's extend these other sunbeams. Okay. Okay, you guys, this is cool. This is really cool. S extend those up, move them in the position I want. Really nice control for where those sunbeams go. I'm not so worried about these because they're casting a little bit of sun down here, maybe a little bit of glow coming down here over the sand dune, but that looks great. Okay, now hit my Enter key. It resolves that into position. Great. That's a great start. Let's then go in and blur this. Filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Wow, that's looking better already. Adjust the blur to the value you're looking for. We can come back and adjust that later, but that looks pretty good. Click OK. And now, one of my favorites has to be a blend mode. Clicking here on Normal. Let's do not a screen in this case. Let's try an overlay. Now the reason I'm choosing overlay is look at the way the tones fade off into the darker regions of the background. That is so cool. Then let's finish it off with a little bit of opacity. Drop that opacity down. There's, there's, there's before. Here's really crazy. Everyone will know that you're cheating. But if you just drop the opacity back a little bit and make it look a little bit more realistic, a little bit of that glow coming out of the horizon. Even your best Photoshop friends won't know that you've cheated nature in this Russell Brown quick 
fix technique for adding sunbeams to an image, give it a try.